Good morning, friends. I hope you're doing well and having a great day so far. Um, I have been a little MIA on YouTube and I didn't even give you guys a warning. Um, the reason for that is that I was just <laughs> not feeling inspiration. I was just in the weirdest mental state while also going through some poop. Um, and so we're back and we're good and I'm ready to just get back into the swing of things. Um, so I'm going to do a vlog today. I have all sorts of things that I want to do. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of like it was rainy this morning but now like the sun is shining and stuff and so I'm very excited about that. Hopefully we can do some work outside because I still have some greenery from Christmas set up outside so I'm thinking that should probably come down by now. Um, I'm going to do some sewing if I have time. Also I want to do a little bit of cleaning because I've been making this new schedule and I'm cleaning like one thing every day. So for Thursdays it would be the kitchen and I'm thinking I might just clean the floors right away because I don't feel like doing anything tomorrow if my husband is going to be at home. I just don't want to be cleaning. So might do that as well. I have some plants to repot. I want to show you my little baby plants that I've been, the ones that I, um, that I started like germinating the other, in the other video. Um, they turned out so good and they're doing really well. I want to show those to you guys. Um, what else are we going to do? I'm not sure. This is just going to be kind of like a normal day in my life and I thought I would take you guys along. We're going to do some different spring things. So I'm very excited and I'm really happy. I hope you enjoy this video and I'm just really excited to spend the day with you all. These are my little baby jalapenos right here. <laughs> They're doing so good and I can just like see how much bigger they are every morning when I come look at them. And then here I have cilantro. I just kind of sprinkled it in there and then I'm going to plant it in one big pot to have on the porch. So I'm very excited about that. This Oliveira is doing so much better. She looks really sad, but I gave her a lot of water. I'm thinking she could even use a little bit more, but this pot is kind of small and I found this big pot for like, it was 50% off at Michael's and I thought it would be perfect for that Oliveira plant. So I'm going to be repotting her today. Also, that one looks kind of gross, but these ones, I started some new seeds and they're all doing so well. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, these ones are going to need to be planted already. So I'm very excited, guys. I just have so many gardening and flower plans for this summer. And I'm so excited because I won't, like, for the past two summers, I've had different, like, summer jobs. And so I never had the opportunity to just stay at home all summer long and um, just really focus on my garden. So I'm so excited about that. I'm going to be doing so much canning and stuff, and it's going to be a blast. Um, I was, I've been thinking it might be fun to include some canning, like, to put some canning content out for you guys and I'm wondering if that would be something you'd be interested in. You should let me know down in the comments like because I love canning. Last year I really found out that I <laughs> have quite an obsession with it. Every weekend I'd be buying more jars because they were all full. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I really just love it. It is such a good feeling just going and putting those jars downstairs and just knowing I did it all myself. And plus you know it's all healthy and you know exactly what's in there. So yeah, if you would be interested in seeing some content like that, let me know. I'm also doing laundry today. Oh, that is bright. Um, this is my laundry drying rack. When it's nice outside, I always like to go hang it outside. There's something about um, your clothes smelling like that fresh, I don't know, that fresh outdoor smell. I don't know, something about it. I just love it. And I've actually been hanging my clothes on this rack for the whole winter. Um, it really actually helped with putting moisture into the air during the winter since it's always so dry. Um, so yeah, that was kind of cool. Plus it saves on, um, 
from the electricity bill. The laundry almost done. The last load is washing, then I'll just have to hang it up and repot my plants. It's actually after lunch already, which is crazy. This day is going by so very fast. Seems like it's always that way. Um, I think I'm going to do the cleaning next um, because it's just going to be a good feeling to have that out of the way. I did the dusting on Tuesday and I cleaned the bathroom yesterday. So today I just have the kitchen and the floors to do, so it shouldn't take me too long. dog is bathed. That needed to be done for so long. I'm a little bit nervous about brushing her because I've been terrible at keeping up with that. But now it's time for a coffee. And I think we're going to try to make a toasted vanilla shaken espresso. Um, I It's one of Starbucks new drinks and I really like it. I order it with 2% milk instead of oat milk. And it's definitely better. I'm still not the biggest fan of it, and I think it could taste way better at home. And I've seen multiple people making it at home, so I'm going to try to follow a recipe, and I think it's going to be so good. First thing we have to do is make our toasted vanilla syrup. So I have about half a cup of sugar here that I'm going to melt till it's golden brown. in here. Now I'm going to take two tablespoons of our toasted vanilla syrup. It smells amazing. just talked for so long and it was not filming. Oh, gotta love when that happens. Here is my drink. Um, I didn't show it in great detail because I, uh, because it's not the point of the video, but I will leave it in the, in the description if you would like it. Um, it's not entirely my recipe, but I did tweak some things, so I think I can take credit because I think it tastes better that way. Anyways, I think we're going to go spend some time in the sunshine like it is so beautiful out there it's a little windy but this one 
this one right here. She keeps whining by the door and acting like she needs to go pee, but she does not. Like, I have taken her two times within the last five minutes, and all she wants to do is run around and play. I think she maybe wants to just run around to dry off a little bit, which I would think it's colder outside in the wind being wet, but apparently that's what she wants, so I didn't take her on a walk this morning because it was raining, so I'll do that for her. <laughs> Harper. <laughs> Over there. Got myself a little cardigan because it's kind of chilly out there still. Um, but we're back inside now. It's kind of miserable, honestly. Like, the sun feels so nice and warm, and I honestly think I could get a tan from it. But the wind just kind of takes away the vibe, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, fun little fact. Today is mine and Steven, my husband's, um, four-year dating anniversary. Which is crazy. Um, I was 19 and he was 21? Yeah, he was 21. Anyways, it feels like a lifetime ago, and yet it's hard to believe that it's so far, or like, it's been so long ago. <laughs> it makes me feel almost old, like, and I also realized that we've officially known each other for like 17 years, which is insane. Like, I was just barely in grade one. Like, I was in grade one and he was in grade two when we met. How is that 17 years ago? Like, Oh, that's the part that makes me feel old. <laughs> we had a very long, chilling time, I guess you could say. Um, I just relaxed for a while because I pretty much had all my work done. So, yeah, I was going to do some sewing, but I'm not feeling into it. So I think I'll do that tomorrow because it's a holiday. Nothing's going on. So <laughs> I'm about to make dinner, which I'm very excited about. See if it works out. I've made this once before. It didn't turn out very well, but I have ideas of how to tweak it. Um, I found this recipe. It's actually for like camping. You like have your pierogies and sausages wrapped in foil and smoke it. I think it has some other yummy stuff on it as well and then put sour cream on top. Oh my goodness. So I'm planning to make that and I think it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I'm going to make three, one for each of us for dinner tonight and just an extra one because I think I have enough pierogies and sausage. I have onions here which we're going to put down first and this sausage, um, I kind of fried it up just a little bit just so I know that it will for sure be done once, it's, uh, once I'm done smoking it. I have my pierogies here and I cooked them. The recipe says to not cook them. But last time, I just put them in frozen and they were so dry, like it really tasted like they needed to be cooked. So, that's what I did. And yes, I made them all myself. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> I love making pierogies. simple to make and wow I was planning to smoke it on the barbecuer but that didn't happen since don't mind my Twizzler Harper you can't have it you cannot have a Twizzler no you can't it's not for the Harper <laughs> anyways I was planning on um, smoking it on our Traeger um, but 
it just didn't happen because I forgot to put pellets in there and it was not heating up and so yeah anyways long story short it was taking too long and so I just ended up doing it in the oven and it was still very good I think it would be better in the smoker because it would be more smoky like and barbecued or whatever but it was still good um, anyways I just got done with the dishes and I have like an onboarding call with a new girl that just joined my team so I'm very excited about that and then I think we'll just relax for the rest of the evening and get our long weekend started. Happy Easter everyone. Um, I guess it will be Monday by the time you see this but I hope you all had a lovely evening and, or a lovely weekend, Easter weekend um, and I will see you next